to bring this application before you this evening. Um, I'm Jody Science, the Ore Ventures leader for Comores, and I wanted to spend just a few minutes introducing you to what we do and who we are. Um, Comores is located at the Stark facility with about 130 Comores employees, plus another 130 um, resident contractors, so about 260 full-time employees support the facility. Um, I wanted to just bring to you a background of how we ended up here 70 years ago. Thank you for changing my turn. Um, so we came here because of a deposit called the Trail Ridge. The Trail Ridge was formed two million years ago when wind and wave action um, weathered the mountains in northern Georgia and then rivers and streams carried the minerals down. I'm going to have you go to the next one if you would. And as that happened, the um, sea level was much higher at that time. So as those minerals traveled down, the wave action against that ridge caused a concentration of mineral. And that resulted in a 100 mile long ridge called the Trail Ridge. And from this map, you can see we're on the southern portion of the ridge, and it travels up into Georgia. So Trail Ridge deposit contains about 2.5 to 3% of heavy mineral, with the balance being um, predominantly a quartz sand. <coughs> And I wanted to show here a list of the other minerals that we have in that deposit. Many of these are used in your everyday life. So we use a technology called spiral separation. And this spiral separator, it's hard to see maybe in this picture, but as the minerals travel down that spiral, the light minerals are thrown to the outside, the heavy minerals come to the center. So we can use a cutter to divide those two streams and the 3% can move forward for use, and the 97%, the quartz, is returned to the land. Okay. Just briefly, I wanted to talk about where do those minerals go? So the titanium-bearing minerals, they all go to our sister plants in Tennessee and Mississippi to form a TiO2 white pigment. So that white pigment is used in paint, paper, plastic, laminate. That's an example of one, one more. So something that's interesting about this pigment is that when it goes into paint, it's actually what causes your paint to have a covering ability. So when you put that on the wall, the pigment is why it covers the color you had on there before. And then the other interesting thing is that when it goes into paper, it's what makes it so when you write on paper, you can write on both sides without seeing through. Another interesting mineral from this deposit is starlight. We call it Star Blast, and it's a great product for preparing metal before you paint or apply a coating to it. It takes off any kind of buildup or oxidation. And then finally, we have Zircon. Zircon sand is used in both the ceramics industry and even more importantly, into the precision investment casting industry. <coughs> so precision investment casting uses Zircon, where we create a mold out of this Zircon, and then we pour molten metal into that mold and that creates these parts that are critical for the aerospace industry, which is why we chose to show a turbine. So when you're on an airplane, it probably has a part created from Zircon that came off of the trail ridge. Another example of this. And then finally, when Comores was deciding to go on with this project, we contracted a company called Urbanomics to measure the economic impact of this project. So Comores is looking to invest over $90 million in this project. It's estimated that that's $15 million in local <coughs> construction. In addition, over the eight years that we intend to mine, the estimated impact is $148 million. And then we also estimate $25 million in salaries. So we're super excited, looking towards the future. And I'm going to turn it over to the project team to really describe what we're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry.